is no fucking debate. Like they found Darmite in the fucking in the in the building, so they knew it was a controlled demolition. So they found fucking they know Donald Rumsfeld, his clip is still around saying that hey, he, he was gonna pay us because it's not missing. Right. <laughs> so I was like, bro shit, look at look at the way China has their security systems. We're in debt to them. Yep. Went out in debt to them. Um, the Zionists and the Jesuits ain't in debt to them. We, as the people, the taxpayers are in debt to them. Mm -hmm. So whatever goes around there is gonna happen on it. Nobody's safe. They just yeah, want this, this being control over humans. Cause you got everyone has a piece of social media, or that one of their family members does, which gives them a face. Every piece of social media, whether you got Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Google, it's all facial recognition programs and identification programs to get a hold of your whole identity and your whole life itself. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you, they said they saw more crimes with this Facebook than they ever did with anything. Because people got their family members who they know, their associates, their colors, and movies, and all of that. They you got all your Trying information to put a on microchip in your well, man. Most people, they want a microchip. An RFID chip. Your phone, your phone is the microchip until they get them. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, you know what I was looking at back in the day. I was, let me pull out my phone. Total slave plantation. Everybody's being farmed and harvesting. Remember these? Remember these? Little fucking phone. I miss these shits. Yeah. These are the shit. I just bought a SIM card for this shit. Nice. Because so, I'm like, yo. Real shit, I'm gonna make this shit work. That ass, and it, it still works. It's on yeah. too cheap. <laughs> only, it's still working. Turn on and all of that. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, this is the shit that we should be using. Because this is my hands. They can't, it's untrackable. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's It just made call in your text. Bro. It's simple. This is the phone I'm gonna give to my kid. There you me? go. When my kid is old enough to talk on phones, bet she's five, ten years old. This, this is the phone I'm giving her. So, where are we now? September 11th was the jumpstart for what is now an accelerated agenda by the ruthless elite. It was a staged war pretext no different than the sinking of the Lusitania, the provoking of Pearl Harbor, and the Gulf of Tonkin lie. In fact, if 9-11 wasn't a planned war pretext, it would be an exception to the rule. It has been used to launch two unprovoked illegal wars, one against Iraq and one against Afghanistan. However, 9-11 was a pretext for another war as well, the war against you. The Patriot Act, Homeland Security, the Military Tribunals Act, and other legislations are all completely and entirely designed to destroy your civil liberties and limit your ability to fight back against what is coming. Currently in the United States, unannounced to most brainwashed Americans, your home can be searched without a warrant, without you being home, you can in turn be arrested with no charges revealed to you, detained indefinitely with no access to a lawyer, and legally tortured, all under the suspicion that you might be a terrorist. If you need a painted picture of what is happening in this country, let's recognize how history repeats itself. In February 1933, Hitler staged a false flag attack, burning down his own German parliament building, the Reichstag, and blamed it on communist terrorists. In the next few weeks, he passed the Enabling Act, which completely eradicated the German constitution, destroying people's liberties. He then led a series of preemptive wars, all justified to the German people as necessary to maintaining homeland security. It's time to wake up. The people in power go out of their way to make sure that you are perpetually misled and manipulated. The majority's perception of reality, especially in the political arena, is not their own. It is shrewdly imposed upon them 
without them even knowing it. For example, the public at large actually believes the invasion of Iraq is going badly as sectarian violence doesn't seem to stop. What the public fails to see is that the destabilization of Iraq is exactly what the people behind the government want. This war is to be sustained so the region can be divided up, domination of the oil maintained, continual profits reaped for the defense contractors, and most importantly, permanent military bases established to be used as a launching pad against other oil-bearing, non-conforming countries such as Iran and Syria. For further implication that the civil war and destabilization is purely intentional, in 2005, two elite British SAS officers were arrested by Iraqi police after being caught driving around in their car shooting at civilians while dressed up as Arabs. After being arrested and taken to a jail in Basra, the British Army immediately requested the release of these men. When the Basra government refused, British tanks came in and physically broke out the men from the Basra prison. If you wish to destroy an area, how do you do it? Well, there are two ways. You can go in there and bomb it and so forth, but that is not very efficient. What you do is you try to get the people in that area to kill each other and to destroy their own territory, their own farms. And that's what's been done in that area. The way in which you destroy an opponent is get him to destroy himself by dividing his ranks against one another. Then you feed both sides. You have agents feeding both sides, inflaming both sides, and they kill each other off. And it's time that some of us woke up to this reality to understand that people who try to maintain empires and create empires do it by manipulating the people they're trying to conquer. I say specific shit, and then you see it matches up with specific shit in the book. And I'll target those specific passages, read them in, play them backwards, and I'll pick up specific shit that, that it's like what I'm saying to you is that it was placed there specifically for me. There's no accidents. When I say I love you, God bless you, this shit, and it turns out to be that, I'm telling you, it was placed there for me to find it and distribute out the knowledge because I'm the one who decapitates gods, you know. Yeah, Jesus is the king of kings. That's funny. I decapitate kings and gods. Okay? On behalf of your creator. It's that kings and gods will help us out for the benefit of all to release us. Or this sphere of destiny allows me to literally decapitate them. Like I said, don't you dare say God bless you. God loves you. I love you. It makes me cringe. Because you don't know what the fuck you're saying. You went to grammar school and learned your book at the dead. And that's why it's, we shall die, we will die, we shall die. And everything about you is, you're dead. They took your soul from you. You're just so filthy, sickly, zombie, retarded. Even I show you your fucking, all of your souls already in this box. You won't believe it. You'll think I'm crazy. Good, I want you to think I'm crazy. Book of Life only has 144,000 names. I only need to wake up 144,000 of you that need to assume your motherfucking position. If one of you fail to assume the position, like the book says, you jeopardize the whole fucking mission of getting everybody eternal life, heaven and earth, you know what I'm saying? It's your fault for calling me a demon and I tell you I'm Satan and you better fucking hope I'm Satan. All your leaders swear in the Bible says that this is my world and I want to bring forth heaven and earth for the benefit of all. Get so, I mean, what the fuck is wrong with that? What does it matter who the hell... You know what I mean? They threw out a seat on him because he wouldn't bow down before man and worship God's creation. He said, I'm prettier than you. Yeah, you're going to make me bow down before that lowly, whatever it is that you think you are. I mean, you are a monster by definition. So, I imagine I can understand why we wouldn't want to bow down before these filthy monsters. Couldn't even obey his creator's command. Don't eat from that one apple. Yeah, whatever it is. It's, it's all by a book. It's all... You have to eat of the apple. This is the green astral jet, the tree of life. The fruit from this tree is at the center of the flat earth plane, and there's a ring around it. You can't get past that barrier, that mythical frost bridge, okay, without having a specific type of blood. Now, people say, well, I'm O five of this, I'm, I'm RNA, whatever it is. That, all right, so people get flippy about their blood. You know, I made a couple of jokes like I'm O positive. I'm positively going to that holy hole, whole positive, you know what I mean? It's, mm -hmm. But what I'm saying, it doesn't matter what blood you have, it's no soul left behind. I'm doing this for the benefit of all. But it is a book of life, 
We got 144,000 names. I didn't make that shit up. I didn't make your fucking Bible up. I didn't do all that shit. It was all placed there for somebody to just bring it all together and carry a prophecy. Bring it all together with blood so it, it would be real. You know, mm -hmm. it's that the powers of the lost secrets of whatever. You, people say masonry, Freemason. If there was, I know you think people have power out there, but they're, they don't because they're selfish. You don't get it. So I got a big billion trillion dollars. They ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you. It's not about how much money you have. If you had a billion dollars and you were giving it away and bringing everybody to a mythical place that doesn't exist to get it, I mean, that's something different. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the case. You don't see billionaires doing this shit, publishing ads on TV, or even making videos. What I'm saying to you is, you know, we're cooking this frog slowly. I don't want anybody's help. I would just like to fulfill this book of life, 144,000 names by the book. And that's it, you know. People just can't grasp this shit. It's already been woven. Some original pope, a long time ago, wrote these specific words into the canon law so that Satan could come here and do this shit. That's why there's a 2 Corinthians 4.4 4 in your King James motherfucking Bible. That's why there's an Old Testament and a New Testament and a Book of Enoch and all this other shit. Each, I can't take money worship advice from you because I'm not a fucking religion, okay? And, you know, I, I'm not Jesus. I don't want your fucking worship. I'm Satan. The devil doesn't want your worship. He wants your fucking blood, side by side, so that we're blood thick. You, you know what I mean? There's, there's like plan. I said, if there ever was a Satan or a devil, go out there and show me one fucking contract published where, you see... Thousands of thousands of people spilling up their blood. Wherever he's, that's demonic, satanic. Demons are going to attach you. You're going to go insane and all kinds of... You're going to rot in hell. You're going to burn on the lake of fire. I guarantee you, I will be burning in the lake of fire before I'm dead. When the spirit just came to me, it stabbed me in the chest and took over me. I thought I had control over the spear of destiny, but it's, it's the spear of destiny that possesses me. It's sort of like the six stones on that whatever guy's infamous snap where he erased, you know. Yeah, Bono's. People that had no heart. Mm -hmm. That's why Thanos was the good guy. He was erasing anybody who had no heart. That's what they show you in the movie. All the people that disappeared were all selfish and this and that. And they were locked in the cube. Their soul box where they could be re resurrected in another movie. It doesn't matter what you believe. Your resistance is futile. This universe is mine. All your leaders swear in a Bible. It says clearly, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, fuck you. It's my universe. You're going to put your blood up side by side with your brethren. Blood thicker than water. And we're going to go to the fountain of youth and nobody will stop us. If you don't join me in blood publicly... I'm going to take over the universe by myself and fuck everybody. Nobody escapes me. I'm going to take over the universe by myself and fuck everybody. I'm married to Helil, the goddess of death. You will join me publicly in blood, or you can't come with me to the Garden of Eden. You can't buy your way into this everlasting life. Your gods won't save you. Your parents won't save you. Your wife, your husband, you're all alone. Everybody thinks you're crazy for telling them the truth. Nobody will stop me. The universe is mine. 